All right, now in here, how many of you, of all of you, like uh, the music today, the hip hop music today? Raise your hands. All right, how many of you do you like the music from back then, in the 80s, 70s, 60s, 90s? Okay, well, let me tell you something. Hip hop is dead. And why? Uh, I'm well, I'm gonna inform you a little bit about what hip hop really is, the foundations. And what the elements are of hip hop is MC, which is where rap came from, b-boying, b-girling, like, it's been the same thing. Um, that's where hip hop dance originated from. And graffiti, uh, hip hop art. Then you have DJing, where hip hop music was developed. And the fifth one is knowledge. And in my points, oh, sorry, um, so hip hop originated from the 70s. And that's where, you know, Everyone used, female or male, people used it as a self-expression to let, let their voices be heard. And up to this day, it's very influential. However, it evolved to something that it's no longer what it used to be. In my speech, I will talk about the issue about hip hop, how it no longer sends out the influential right messages to the audiences. And a lot of the artists don't even know what kind of messages they're giving out to, especially to the youth. And I will explain to you how we can possibly resolve and bring back the foundations of hip hop. So, I'm going to talk to you about co-science hip hop. So co-science hip hop, what they basically do is they rap, these are artists who rap about music such as inequality in societies, or uh, they also, they also, like to inspire uh, many of the youth, telling them, you know, giving them the, the, real, the real message. Unlike some of the rappers today, where they just rap about either money, fame, and power. And in the article by Hip Hop for the Community, No Longer for the Community, it raps about how, you know, not, nowadays all these rappers, uh, trap rap, as they would be called, uh, they just basically rap about themselves. They don't rap for the people. They like to rap just about how, they're, how they made it and not even talking about any political injustice that's happening outside. And in another article, in uh, youthvoices.com by Mike Griff in September 28, 2012. Uh, it talks about how a lot of the music, how is it that this music is, you know, supposed to influence many of the, many of the people today, such as the youth. You know, these messages that the new rappers are giving out to the youth is, you know, saying, you know, oh, in order to fit into the crowd, in order to fit into society, you need to party, you need to do drugs, you need to do all these negative things when that's not what it's all about. Oh, and uh, the solutions that I have for this would be that rappers should change the message to change the influence. And Yeah, the rapper should change the influence in order to change the message to change the influence. As well as we also have the power of the media to speak out and let our voices be heard about, you know, we want the real foundations of hip hop back. We want music that we can relate to. And it's sad how a lot of these R&B artists, they go from talking about meaningful music, like romance, music that we can relate to, and now we just have music that's like women, drugs, violence, and all that stuff. And I want to leave you guys off with that, you know, ask yourselves, how does this music relate to you? How does it describe you? How does it define you? How is it that this music makes you as a person? Thank you.